Now, Seth, we've been, we've been asking our guests if we do a late, late show and tell where we, where we ask you if you would share something <laughs> with us from home that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have anything you'd like to share this evening? Right. I, you know, I, 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 I didn't have to dig too far. This is, this is, this is really embarrassing. But uh, here, hang on one sec. Oh, let, me, let me grab this. Hi, James. Oh, wow. Hello, James Gordon. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here on the Late Late Show. Anyway, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, look at that. that. that one. I cannot tell you how much that brightened my day. <laughs> it's a Ernie. Yeah. Reg, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Uh, yes, tonight's question goes to... Uh, Monsieur McFarlane. Okay. Mm. What do you think is the next uh, achievable, somewhat uh, fantastical scientific phenomena that will occur within our lifetimes? You know, I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been great. I think maybe it would have possibly something to do with uh, either either renewable energy or, or speed, maybe. You keep mm. reading stories about, about experimental aircraft that can, you know, go from, from uh, New York to London in a much, much uh, lesser amount of time. So to me, something like that is, is, is likely to, to, to be pretty high on the list. Reg? Uh, that's actually, that's the only answer. It's the only answer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Please thank the incredible Seth MacFarlane. Everybody, when we come back, we have music from the Jaded Hearts Club. Stick around, everybody.